we go to the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS. The body has issued an ultimatum to coup plotters in Mali to appoint civilian head of transition government and prime minister for the country. According to the regional body, the junta has not later than September 15 to appoint the head of the transition government and also prime minister. Both the regional body says must be civilians. The transition government will have one year to midwife a return to democracy, which was abruptly cut short by the military junta. The ultimatum was issued at the end of the 57th ECOWAS summit in Nami, Republic of Niger. The head of state's and government decision was contained in a communique issued at the end of the summit. We're now joined by an international affairs expert, Paul Ejime. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Is the 15th of September date given by ECOWAS to the military junta to name a civilian, I mean, a, a new government for Mali really realistic? Well, uh, I'll rather that um, ECOWAS and the other, you know, the international community, you know, make haste slowly with uh, the junta. And that is not to say that um, the junta should become, um, you know, uh, very uh, uh, comfortable and remain in power. No, they don't belong there. They have to go. One year is, um, uh, you know, that is what ECOWAS has asked for. If they can um, start with it, and if uh, the progress is being made, there could be a way of adding maybe a couple of uh, months to it. It's, it's difficult. And then the issue of um, ultimatum about appointing civilian governments, I think there has, to, there has to be very, you know, care has to be taken so that you don't rush into rushing and then you rush out. Um, I think um, there's, there's need to um, uh, internalize the whole situation, the crisis, meet with uh, stakeholders, reach a compromise. I think that will, that will work. But I, one can understand what ECOWAS is trying to do, to, pre to put pressure on the junta not to become uh, complacent and then to do what they have to do and then hand over to um, uh, civilians. But that has to be done with great care so that um, um, you know, the country or the region does not go back to uh, ground zero uh, or you know, so square one. So it, it, it requires a little, a little bit of um, uh, uh, sensitive uh, calibration to make sure that um, the balance does not tilt in, um, in a negative uh, way. All right, the summit extended by another six months the mandate of the ECOWAS military mission in Gambia. Is ECOWAS in a position to consider military option in Mali if the junta does not agree with the terms of ECOWAS intervention? That could be option. That could be one of the options. But I, I am afraid that um, even ECOWAS is stretched. In fact, the whole region is stretched. The international community, everybody is fighting the, the, the pandemic. ECOWAS, uh, apart from the Gambia, they also have one in um, Guinea-Bissau. And um, it's always said that it is better to um, uh, uh, deal with issues, uh, tackle issues uh, uh, before, instead of waiting until it escalates, until you now begin to employ, um, uh, to uh, deploy troops. It is expensive. Uh, you know, I don't know how many countries will be able to, to live uh, to, with the security crisis, um, bedeviling most of the countries, Nigeria, Ghana, all over the place. I don't know how many countries will be able to, um, to have troops to spare for international um, or regional mission. And then where is the money coming from? That is the issue. So I think it would be better, well, have it as um, uh, one of the um, options uh, that could be a last resort. But um, I think um, practically and realistically, I think um, it is um, better not to, um, to, to go that way. Let uh, them exhaust the um, diplomatic and political um, avenues. Okay, let's talk about the ECHO for a moment. The, the body has again postponed the launch of the single monetary union. What are the implications, given that uh, Francophone members and France are going ahead with the change um, of the, their currency, which um, ECHO, of course, is the name uh, for the ECHO as common currency? Well, to be honest, uh, uh, Felicity, um, ECOWAS has uh, dragged so much feet on this. It's been on for, you know, it was going to happen more than a decade ago. But one can also understand the, that um, you don't rush into it. There are some convergence uh, uh, criteria that are required to be met before you go there. 
But I'm, I've looked at the 52, you know, items on the uh, communique that were, um, ECHO is one of them. And they're talking about a new roadmap towards um, uh, 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 regional um, uh, uh, single uh, monetary union. I don't think they have addressed it properly because the, the French and the uh, Francophone are going ahead. They didn't say they should, they didn't, they, they communicated, they didn't ask the, the Francophone and France to stop. They only mentioned that um, it is part of um, a, a, a revised roadmap. And one would, would be wondering, what is this revised roadmap? Will the French now go ahead and take the ECHO name that has been, um, uh, ECHO once has been working on as this uh, regional um, common currency? I think there's uh, some ambiguity there that leaves uh, much to be desired. I think it has to be cleared up to make sure that um, if ECOWAS is not um, in support of what the Francophones and France are doing, they should come out openly and say so, and not um, count it in a way that, um, you know, it's ambiguous and, and, and opaque. It does not explain what ECOWAS really wants. So um, okay. that, that's what I, mean, I would say to I it. And um, I, it's not right for France and uh, to come and hijack a name that ECOWAS um, had uh, been working on. But ECO has not to, also has not been very quick at it in, uh, in this, so in this regard. questions come into my head, but in the interest of time, I'll just ask you this. The summit mentioned the crucial elections coming up in Burkina Faso, Ghana, Guinea, Cote d'Ivoire, and Niger, without talking about the controversy over the presidential third term, which has raised tension in Cote d'Ivoire and Guinea. Uh, why do you think this is so? Well, I think that's another area where... ECOWAS needs to come out. The leadership that we talked about, come out, peer review, means that you have to talk to your colleagues, tell them where they are going wrong. You don't expect outsiders to come and, and when it becomes a crisis, then you begin to, to scamper. They should be able to tell their, themselves the truth, that uh, third term is not um, uh, uh, allowable, it creates tension and can create crises that can uh, envelop the whole region. So they didn't do that, and um, it's rather unfortunate. Maybe they are, they are being, um, you know, diplomatic. But at times you have to really come out and tell your colleagues the truth, and then they stand in a better position to talk to themselves and say, well, listen, this third mandate, uh, third term mandate presidency is creating pro crisis, so perhaps uh, we should, you should uh, stop it and let the, uh, con uh, the region consolidate on democracy. All right, Mr. Paul Ejime, thank you very much uh, for joining us on the news. Your time is appreciated. Thank you for having me.